The four giant planets of our solar system have a couple of things in common, and one of those things is that all of them have planetary rings. The most famous of these is Saturn, but Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune also have rings. But why? Why is it that some planets have rings and others don't? Well perhaps the most interesting thing about this is that the rings around planets form because of different reasons, and at different times. It used to be thought that Saturn's rings had formed relatively recently, or at least of the size they are today. However, new research based on evidence picked up by the Cassini spacecraft suggests that Saturn's rings are almost as old as the solar system itself, but lots of the ice that forms them only looks new because ice chunks are constantly colliding with one another. Saturn's rings were formed when many Pluto-sized planets passed too far into Saturn's gravity well and were pulled apart, and those fragments fell into orbit around Saturn. Now Jupiter is a different story. The New Horizons spacecraft's data suggests that its rings were formed over a long period of time, mostly from meteorite strikes into Jupiter's moons. What exactly makes up the rings of Uranus and Neptune is still a mystery, as is how they were formed. So why doesn't Earth have rings? Well it turns out that we may have done a very very long time ago. Around 4.5 billion years ago a body the size of Mars collided with Earth and sent debris from Earth all over our gravity well and some of this debris famously formed together to create our moon. It is very possible that a temporary planetary ring formed out of these fragments as well but if it did then it wasn't particularly stable as all the material that was thrown out gradually was sucked back in. The fact is, many rings seem to come from asteroids and such floating around in space, and not very much of that ever makes it to our end of the solar system, as it's normally stopped before it can. Jupiter, for example, acts like a massive shield for Earth, dealing with many potentially life-threatening asteroids that could come hurtling towards us. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Unfortunately, a bit of a short one this week, but both me and Ben are extremely busy. However, a bit of a side note, if you or a family member or a friend has access to a telescope, I would really strongly recommend getting it out on a clear night and trying to find Saturn. I've done it myself and it's a truly wonderful sight, as even with the rather old telescope that I have, you can still very clearly see the rings around Saturn. Another amazing planet to have a look at is Jupiter, where I personally could make out two cloud rings that go around it, and even more excitingly, I could make out four tiny dots around Jupiter, four of its moons. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed it leave a like on this video, it does really help us, and if you want to hear more about this world, its history, the wonderful life in it, or even the worlds above, feel free to subscribe.